Hi, welcome to Therm Science. Today's topic is about effect of inlet temperature of compressor on gas turbine engine. In gas turbine engine, initially the compressor sucks air from atmosphere, which means the inlet temperature is ambient temperature. Is it possible to change ambient temperature? No, it's not possible because it's a big universe. And also, it's not in our hand to change atmospheric temperature. But we know one thing. In glow, everywhere the temperature is not constant. So, in this lecture, we are going to see if inlet temperature is low. It means, if the ambient temperature is low, what is the effect of gas turbine engine? For that, I have taken two different problems, but having same parameters. First problem, a simple constant pressure gas turbine plant draws air at 30 degrees Celsius. It means, the first case, the ambient temperature is 30 degrees Celsius and compress it through a pressure ratio of 6. Rp is equal to 6. Then the air passes to the combustion chamber and after combustion of fuel, gases enter the turbine at a temperature of 787 degrees Celsius and expand to the initially low pressure. Calculate thermal efficiency. Take gamma is equal to 1.4. The second problem, only one change. Here we have taken the ambient temperature is minus 30 degrees Celsius. This problem already we have solved in previous lecture of this playlist. If you have any doubt how to solve this problem, kindly go through it. Because we are going to concentrate only this problem that is minus 30 degrees Celsius. Problem number 2. Now we will discuss what is the effect of inlet temperature. For this case, when ambient temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, we found out T2, T4, similarly Compressor work, turbine work, heat addition, heat rejection. Also, W net and efficiency. All these parameters we have solved already from this playlist. Kindly go through it. Now we will see when our ambient temperature is minus 30 degrees Celsius. So from isentropic relation, T2 divided by T1 is equal to Pt divided by P1 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. P2 divided by P1 nothing but Rp. This equation can be written as T2 is equal to Rp whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into T1. Rp is 6, gamma is 1.4, T1 given in question minus 30 degrees Celsius. So, convert it to Kelvin, that becomes 243. So, T2 becomes 405.44 Kelvin. You can see here, when ambient temperature is minus 30 degrees Celsius, T2 becomes 405.44. When ambient temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, T2 becomes 505.44. 4 Kelvin, which means there is under Kelvin difference is there. From this, you can say that if ambient temperature is low, after compression temperature it will be low. When after compression temperature is low, the work given to the compressor, let's check. WC is equal to Cp T2 minus T1. WC becomes 163.25 kilojoule per kg of air when ambient temperature minus 30 degrees Celsius. When ambient temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, look at WC. 203.41 kJ per kg. From this, we can conclude that when ambient temperature is low, work given to the compressor will be lower, which result in increase in W net, that is 263.37 kJ per kg, whereas here 223.21 kJ per kg. What about efficiency? No change. Here 40.04 percentage, here 40. 04 percentage. These are very very important that we have to understand. If outlet temperature of compressor reduces, the heat given to the combustion chamber will increases. That is QS is increased. Cp T3 minus T2 or QS becomes 657.83 kJ per kg at minus 30 degrees Celsius. Whereas for 30 degrees Celsius it is 557.37 kJ per kg. Here you can check it up, under kJ per kg is increased, which means when outlet temperature of compressor reduces, automatically the heat given to the compression chamber will increase. So, ambient temperature, if ambient temperature is low, work given to the compressor will reduce, which result in increase in net work done, but also which result in increase in heat addition. But efficiency never vary at a given work output, that you have to remember. In this class, we will discuss what is the effect of intercooler on 
gas turbine engine if you like this video kindly subscribe like and share thank you